Hi, this is John Feller. Hi, this is Chris Glad. And we're from the IBM J Start Emerging Technologies Group. Today we're going to show you how to leverage 3270 or 5250 data within web-based mashup applications. A lot of enterprise information exists in mainframe applications that are currently accessed using 3270 or 5250 consoles. Here I have a 3270 console to demonstrate. If this mainframe data could be available in a format that allows it to be easily combined with other data, business users could have the ability to harness this data to help solve business issues using a feature-rich modern browser interface. So here I type in an application inquiry and you have some data with the person's name and address. I could do this again. So what we'd like to do is take this 3270 data that comes from the 3270 application and put it into a mashup application such as this one in which the data is displayed in a table and can be used within a mashup application. So Chris, why don't you go ahead and uh, show the Hats Atom Feed walkthrough to show how people can create an Atom Feed uh, from 3270 data. Okay, so we have an empty project here uh, that we made in hats using rational application developer and we have our default connection uh, that was set up when we created the project and we're going to use that and open the hats host terminal connection so that we can view our green screen and this is the first uh, page you see when you come into the green screen and what we want to do is record a macro. So up at the top you'll see a button for record macro and we'll click on that, give it a name and set the start screen. From here we just perform the actions that we want recorded on the macro and you'll see them being built on the left. In. And you can see on the left that the actions are being recorded uh, in the macro. So now we'll make our first inquiry for the data and we'll receive a data file. And here we want to create um, an extraction using the extract action button. So we'll select the lines we want to extract and click Add Extract Action. And on this screen, we'll just select the part of the screen that we want recognized for our data extraction and click Finish. Here we get a chance to name that extraction. We'll name it Inquiry 1. And you'll see the start row, end row, start column, end column uh, that you selected. We're going to select extract this region as a list of strings. Okay, And just do this for the rest of uh, the inquiries that you'd like. And now we just have to log out. Click stop, stop recording the macro, and click save. And now that we have our macro saved, as you can see on the navigation on the left here, we're going to create an integration object by right clicking on the macro and clicking create integration object.
now, under source, we have our integration object with the same name as our macro. And here we're going to want to change um, a couple things to make getting at the data that we just extracted from the 3270 machine uh, easier. So we're just going to change the instantiation of this variable from simple to array. And then we're going to add a getter uh, of type vector for that inquiry. Okay, now we have our getter created that will return the inquiry we just made it as a vector of strings. So now we want to create a model one web page from our integration object. We'll right click on the integration object in the navigation on the left and go down to create model one web pages. We'll choose the default name and just click finish. And you'll see under web content model one web pages we have our new JSP page macro one output. And now we see our JSP source code from opening the model one web pages. And what you're going to want to do is replace this code with code of your own that's based on the JSP, JSP page that we provide. Okay, now we've replaced the JSP code in our macro output uh, to actually work with the 3270 data that we're extracting. And what we've done is package this whole project into an ear file and deploy it onto uh, a server. And now we're going to hit that JSP page on the server. And the result of that JSP page is an Atom feed, which you can see here. And we'll show the source of that Atom feed. And you can see that it's actually the data that we extracted from 3270 in Atom format. So Chris has shown you how to create the uh, Atom feed from 3270 data. What I want to show here is the finalized mashup application, which takes 3270 data and puts it into a display viewer widget. You can collect, click on a individual and get their credit report as well as a car theft map um, that we have wired together. You click on someone else and you get their respective data. So here we have shown how to take a, and extract 3270 data information, put it into an Atom feed, and then use that Atom feed into a mashup situational application that you can run through your browser. For more information, please read the article on the IBM Developer Works website leveraging 3270 or 5250 data within web-based mashup applications. This article provides a written step-by-step -step guide to create the 3270 feed using hats that we showed in this video. We also provide detail of how to utilize this data feed within IBM Mashup Center. You can go to the DeveloperWorks website at ibm.com slash developerworks and also you should look at the Rational Host Access Transformation Services information site as well as the IBM Mashup Center web URL that is listed on this page. The IBM JSTART Emerging Technologies team has helped many customers unlock high-value content within their enterprise legacy systems. Our team also has vast experience with mashups and Web2 technologies. If you are interested in working with the JSTART team, please contact us at jstart at us.ibm.com or visit our website www.ibm.com slash software slash jstart. Thank you.